today, guys, we're going to talk about the MLB Lockout Explained. Frequently Asked Questions. And our first question is, has MLB ever missed any regular season games due to a lockout before? And the answer is, no. The MLB has never missed any regular season games due to a lockout. A lockout, which sometimes can be confused with a player's strike, is when the owners prevent the players from playing. The MLB has only ever missed games because of strikes. Our next question is, is the MLB still in a lockout? And the answer is yes, the MLB is still in a lockout. Major League Baseball spring training has already been pushed back. It's already the end of February, so let's get why we're still in the lockout. And we're going on to our most frequently asked question, why is there an MLB lockout? And the answer is, on December 2nd, 2021, the latest lockout in Major League Baseball began. Why? Because there was an expiration of the collective bargain agreement from 2016. Very little movement has happened. Why? Because the rise of threats of canceled games and also threats of shortened regular season. Both sides cannot come to an agreement. And on to our next question. Is the MLB season canceled for the year 2022? That's a million dollar question. Answer to that is, as of right now, it's a yes, no, maybe so kind of answer. And yes, it is exactly that complicated because as of today, without a new labor deal by Monday, an MLB spokesperson says that the league will begin canceling regular season games. And that's according to multiple sources and multiple reports. Don't have to worry too much. Just because it may be some of the games that are canceled, it doesn't mean it's going to be a whole season that's going to be canceled. We're going to find out Monday what their decision is going to be. So hang in there. I know I am. I want no games canceled. As a baseball lover, I already hate that there's already a pushback on the spring training. I don't want any games in a regular season canceled. So I'm right there with you. On to our next most frequently asked question. Why are spring training games canceled? Well guys, as you know, it's because the lockout is still ongoing. The Major League Baseball owners locked out the players in December. All we know as of now, at the end of February, spring training games is canceled through March 5th. And another question you guys want to know, is the MLB on a strike? No. MLB is not on a strike. They're in a lockout, which is a work stoppage. It is not technically called the term strike. All right, and on to the next. When was the first MLB lockout? What year? The first MLB lockout was in 1973. One year after baseball's first strike, which was in 1972, the owners initiated their first lockout. After the arbitration was added to the previous CBA in 1972, the deal expired and the owners sought to have the process more clearly defined in the new contract. This first lockout only lasted a few weeks of negotiation. They reached an agreement and the season started on time. Fun fact, there were zero games canceled that season. However, spring training games were delayed. The main issue of the first lockout was about salary arbitration, and the commissioner at the time was Bowie Kuhn. And on to our next question, when did the MLB lockout start? In 2021-2022. The date of this current MLB lockout started December 2nd of 2021. That's about three months already that we've been in a lockout. Very important frequently asked question, how long did the 1994 baseball strike last? And the answer to that guys is 232 days. A year is 365 days. 232 days without baseball, that's way too freaking long guys. On April 2nd in the year 1995, just a day before the replacement players were set to take the field, the strike ended. After 232 days, the MLB would continue to operate under the expired CBA until a new deal was reached years later. And baseball as we know it was saved at that time. All right, guys. And the next frequently asked question you guys are dying to hear about is who won the 1994 MLB strike or lockout? Well, guys, who won the 1994 MLB strike was, by a vote of 27 to 3, the owners supported the use of replacement players. The strike ended when Judge and future Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor issued a preliminary injunction against the owners on March 31st. And on to our final and most amazing question. How did Judge Sonia Sotomayor save baseball? 
As a federal district court judge in Manhattan, Sonia Sotomayor ruled on the baseball player's salary cap on March 31st in the year 1995. By restoring the terms of the previous labor agreement, she ended the 1994 baseball strike by opening day. Way to go, Sonia. You save baseball. We need to have someone save baseball right now because what's going on is a travesty and we need to get this resolved before opening day. I want to see my Dodgers play. I know you guys want to see your guys' team play. Let's get this resolved and save baseball. And who knows? Maybe Max Scherzer will be our senior in this lockout this time. All right, guys. I hope I was able to explain a little bit more of the lockout for you. If you guys have any more questions about it and what's going on, go ahead and comment down below. Any questions about the season, what's going on Monday, comment down below and I'll go ahead and answer them. And your question may be featured in another video. If you don't want to get benched this season, don't strike out. Hit that like button, swing at the subscribe button, and hit a home run on that notification bell. Thank you for watching the Improbable Podcast. Have a probably awesome rest of your day.